Right now we have basically prospective data showing efficacy of a lot of novel agents, which is fantastic, but how they work in sequence is still an unknown question. We have small numbers of patients that have been treated with a novel agent after a novel agent. So um, venetoclax after a brutinib, we know that works. But the um, converse, whether a brutinib works after venetoclax, is still somewhat of a question. Um, we have real-world data to support the use in people who have not previously been exposed to a BTK inhibitor or for, pa for patients who have um, previously seen a BTK inhibitor but stopped because of um, uh, intolerance. For patients who have actually previously failed a BTK inhibitor, it seems to be a less effective strategy. But that's all real-world data retrospective. We don't have a prospective um, large data set to support that practice, so I think that's still a piece that we're trying to figure out.